Indexed executive compensation is compensation relative to an index. This can be a stock market index or more popular, it can be an operating index on any accounting measure such as revenue growth, EBIT or return on investment. Index compensation in this way replaces the traditional negotiated compensation targets. This makes it not, even fa not only faster in compensation negotiation, but also much fairer. Index compensation is mainly used by volatile industries, such as the classical industrial sector, uh, machine manufacturers, automotive supplier, producers of electronic components, you name it. But it is also relevant to banks, which, as we have just recently seen, experience high volatility in their performance. There's actually a, a bank in Sweden that started index compensation in 1970 and still uses the exact same method. And this bank, Svenska Handelsbanken, not only has much lower volatility, it was also the only bank that didn't have to go to the government uh, during the Swedish banking crisis. Instead of negotiating a target, you agree on a relevant operating index, which means a group of companies that you compare your performance to. So instead of saying, I want to grow by 10%, you say, I want to grow faster than the average of my competitors. Our performance of that index means, that, means then our performance of pay. Underperformance means underperformance in pay. Now, Agreeing on an index takes time, but this time is much less than what is typically used to negotiating a, a traditional target. And above, above else, it is valid for a much longer period of time. The main benefit is it is fairer. The index bonus target moves with the economic cycle. It is higher when the economy is, uh, is in an upturn and it's lower if the economy is on a downturn. This is much fairer than the traditional way of negotiating a target which is fixed for a long period of time and is typically outdated by external factors. But index bonus targets are not only fairer, they also measure operating performance only, free of any external effect. And that makes it interesting for manager because operating performance is what they control. Index compensation is for all levels of managers, but there are industries where index compensation doesn't make much sense. Such industries are retail industries that fluctuate little. It makes more sense in volatile industries. It also doesn't make sense in industries where the revenue is in the future, such as biotechnology or some, some companies that are in, in the area of high tech, high technology. Index compensation also doesn't solve the problem of excessive executive pay. It pays the same amount of salaries, but it allocates them differently to outperformers, outperformers, outperformers between different management teams and outperformers in different periods of time. The Swiss financial research firm Obermott provides indexed performer, performance measurement. We provide the operating index for hundreds of companies to compensation committees and board of directors as well as executive management. Our advantage is that we can provide it as a neutral third party free of internal political forces. Additionally, we exclusively do indexing operating performance. This means we have economies of scales that we can give to our, to our customers such as lower cost, but more important, higher quality.